This God, right bro. Here. I am so happy. Now, and I see this is a little bit of a contradiction because it's Westchester versus my character. But guess what? I'm sorry. I'm a traitor today. <laughs> it's valid. I'll give you that one. It is valid. I'll be the Trenko support. My so, guy's got it. More Pikachu, right? We're, another, we're another rat in here. And this time we got exterminated. The Z drop out of shield. Is it free? I think that's like frame five out of shield option. That's. Or just, it's just Very pretty solid. fast. But he can lead to like so much damage with that one. Yeah. Uh, T Sizzle definitely going to be wanting to have a bomb in hand against a lot of this Pikachu pressure, for sure. Definitely so. And there on shield is not that safe. Up the out of shield will punish that a lot. So Ooh, one thing grab. that uh, so we're starting on Smashville because Tranko does not start PS2. He does dance. Um, one thing that oh my God, T Sizzle is moving Ooh. on him up to fair. Very good stuff. Oh. Tranko taking that hit. Very smart idea to go for the for the down smash there. Just choosing it, and now see this is the matchup. This is the matchup. It just now took Trenko a it. hot minute to do it. We had the, like the Pikachu was just not supposed to interact. He's supposed just to sit down, Tito. And I'm surprised he the lived late that. Hit of that or the soft hit of that up there. Yeah. Oh, going for a jab, bro. Yo, this is, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm watching Street Fighter Five. The way he just mashed F Smash out of hit stun. <laughs> That's like a Ken player mashing Sore you out of hit stun. Oh, I'm so mad. How does he get grabbed from there? Chasing him Not down. Not ready with for the, the DI. Grab. That is called. I know my character's limits, bro. I know the grab range with that one. Uh, Pikachu, one of those characters that double up tilt doesn't really work on there. You have to. It's like there's some characters where up tilt F tilt will work. And then other characters where it just doesn't work at with. So you have to go for like up tilt up B or up tilt up smash or just up tilt wait and wait for options. Yes. He looks very comfortable uh, switching up his style depending on the percent, um, which I'm, I'm liking a lot. Yes, that low indeed. percent can sometimes be tricky to uh, to play comfortably, but. And oh, T Sizzle just. Oh my god, bomb fair. Blew him Still up. Still sitting that on one. three socks, not letting anyone, uh, not letting this Pikachu deter him at all. Yeah, he's, he's positioning really well. He knows exactly what moves to, to counterplay with. Lives that one okay. for sure. Still like making it okay. Very oh. smart idea to use the bomb to shield yourself. He's got the the off stage tricks down. Yes, he does. That's like that's like Nair. Very Ooh. good stuff. Ooh, the pizza cancel up tilt, and that's a very risky one. Um, that no? is not enough. But no, we got good. I love that here. that that pivot up tilt because if he gets that late hit on shield, very safe. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm loving it. And then down tilt, also this like probably one of Tomb Link's most underused tilts. That is so damn good. Yes. Django finally getting his first stock, getting something on the board. I had the C4 bomb is in play. <laughs> right on the Smash Bros. platform, just like Snake. <laughs> Take a little bit of inspiration from him. I love him. Now Django uh, finally getting some strings in. Oh, goes for the thunder. The Tranko Thunder. Yeah, that would have been a saga. <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden, Tranko's in his element. Oh, he sucks him in with that. Let's try with the boomerang coming yep. back. You got to know. You have to be wary, man. See, he he waits a lot more on ledge than I do. I mean, I'm just I'm immediately swinging F tilt. I'm like, you're gonna you're gonna just your event build is going to run out, perish. <laughs> I, I love to. when he waits if he has a setup going. I love the patience there. I mean, he knows, man. He knows it's gonna be he's gonna fall right into the loving hands. He's not forcing his like, any any advantage at all. Oh, There's not no at all. To. This lead is, is huge. Very good backer from Trenko. Bomb's getting bounced up. Oh, good spike though. And all of a sudden, this is looking like a Pikachu game. It's scary. This is Trenko. This is a Sizzle's game to lose. And Trenko tries to rob oh, him. Oh, punch that quick attack. Playing around with the bomb in hand, it's always scary. It's always scary to see. He's grabbing and starting to whiff a little bit more. Those were hitting early game, but Tranko seems to getting seems to be getting a little wiser. Like remember how I said like he was oh. like, wasn't forcing a situation? Now that's exactly what T Sizzle is doing right now. Mm. He's trying to force his advantage and just get oh. this kill. The eyes out on that bomb hit. No, no. Yeah, right Tranko is staying anti. very patient. Oh, that's oh yeah, now Tranko had the right idea to go off deep for that. You kinda like I wanna say he loses nothing. But he's been he's been getting he's been getting by with these uh oh that's yeah, gonna be it go. though okay he was getting by with those commitments mm -hmm. those off stage uh, attempts for an early stock but T says well secures it there closer call than than he would have liked for sure definitely close You're trying to close it out very hard I'm trying to like force so many situations he did yes. not need to we just had to just sit lip, sit back continue playing the same neutral game we were doing before mm -hmm. but uh, my man's 
Uh, now, I, I fear for how Tranko is going to play the next Yacht because I know he is not going to interact the next the next game at all. Yes, he's going <laughs> to start it the way he ended that last one. <laughs> or at least that's the goal. That's the objective. So, depending on how well he can play that, this game will have a much, much different start than the last. Absolutely. We're going to see right here we get it right in. Stage choice. All of Ashen. Seen it, seen it again, you know. New stage here. Yes, indeed. So this is just a l largest mass fill, and uh, definitely one to Tranko's liking. You know how he's going to do it. He's going to sit back, and he's going to play the matchup. Oh, the yeah. matchup is if Pikachu rush, rushes in, he's going to get out. I wouldn't say outboxed, but he's going to get swatted away by two like, in a No sense. jump here. Goes high. And this is edge guard. Oh, oh, okay. But the drift there is, is very clutch. You know, th those backers not getting enough knockback, and T-Sizzle knowing that the higher he gets, the more he can drift to be in zero range. Yes, indeed. Oh, I love it. Oh, but he tried to go for an up air to cast it out. But in that situation, another backer would have been more ideal because you can probably follow up with like a 40 or just like another backer indeed. Ooh, Ooh. love it. Z-Drop Bomb is one of the... Oh, oh my God. This is a quick attack. Wait, you can do it like that? Oh, and the F-Smash. Like smash. Big start here again from T-Sizzle. Open him up strong. Yeah, and just look. He's scouting that out. And just choosing to again pick and, pick and choose the moments. He doesn't need to overextend. Tuning, that's still a very big move. Hits from the back, don't forget. Oh, greedy there for sure, but. And that one, I'm live. surprised he didn't go for a dare. Trying to go overextended. T still there it is again, that lot. pivot. Turn around, up tilt. Very sneaky. There we go, another, another uh, back here, sending T Sizzle off stage. Oh, this pressure! Yep. He's now, doing a great job weaving in and out after that uh, that shield pressure. It's also just like uh, Tranko not understanding what he can punish. Down tilt. Absolutely. Down tilt. He was right to not swing. You can you do not swing on down tilt. Um, but up tilt, up tilt was like shield grab or up smash. Yeah, you can you can punish up tilt. Yeah, and that's the key, right? Mm -hmm. There's a, a layer of unfamiliarity here. T Sizzle can really oh he, can, he can use that as fear factor. Yes, he oh, can. Great wonderful anti air. How, how is this seeing the same situation as game one? I think it's probably a little bit more of an adaptation for oh, no. Second time today we've seen Trenko mess up a quick attack. I wonder if it's... Is he messed one up early? Yeah, I don't know. I th it could be a controller thing. It could just be Pops some misinputs, nerves. shaky hands. Both of these players also making it this far without a coach. Just want to bring that, to bring that to the table. Oh, big respect there. Okay. Mm -hmm. going, going in solo. I got to wonder. Trenko does have the Steve. No. Nah, just okay. picking it out. Good. I, I, I'm very glad to see him stick Pikachu here. Because I think... actually uh, beating one of the Steves earlier. I think it was him as well. Chimi. Oh, him yes, on, yes. Him on there you go. See, I think this is good here. He's had two games to collect data with Pikachu. Although, the last one might not have been too close. At the very least, he knows what to avoid. Oh, now he's catching. He's catching Trinko swinging in random spots out of the, out of the moves. This is exactly what Toon Link wants. Oh, I love to throw Mob down there. When, when you start playing Frantic, Toon Link loves that. There we go. Oh, okay, good stuff from Tranko. Oh, yeah, and Frantic is the way to describe how Tranko is playing right now. He's entering this game three with a, a very large layer of, uh, of frustration, I would say. Definitely. He want, he, he's just trying to force his advantage. He's not just trying to sit back and let it. In the camping battle, in the, in the battle, like you know, just like you know, staying back and zoning each other out. I wouldn't say Toon Link wins outright. Wow, oh, the reach on that. Get clap. I am so sorry. And punishing quick attack. I mean, let's be real. Here. Yeah, like, like, no, that, that is elite. That is elite. Tranko does not get the sweet spot. Might have another shot. No, no that didn't. blast hit. Holding right through with the holding down on the upbeat, doing numbers for him. Oh, and now T Sizzle. He loves this this third stock right here. Oh yeah. He's holding on to this. He knows I can do it. He said I can do it again. Oh, that was a very, top. very bad bomb pill. Very bad bomb pill. That was uh, as one of the uh, our, one of the old tunings would say, "Bomb go pull" moment. Will the boomerang come back? No, that's under. Uh, caught him asking on the ground. Very tricky to punish Pikachu at Les when he's doing the stuff like that. Oh, absolutely. Trenko knows when he's uh, when he's in the clear there. What he can use for some little, some safe tricks and gimmicks. Yes, indeed. Look at this. Oh, nice grab. Haven't been seeing much of that from Trenko. 
grabs? Yeah. Not at all. And oh, there we go, on. finally getting that edge guard he's been looking for. Yeah. Actually putting himself in the first lead he's had his entire set. Exactly. We've been seeing Trenko against multiple different characters too. He'll position himself off stage very early, use his double jump, stall off stage for as long as possible, and wait for them to exhaust their resources to land that downer. And he's pretty consistent with it. Very good. His on edge his guarding part. has been good. And there you go. He's learning now. He's not getting caught up from the boomerang from the back. But honestly, I think if he stayed on the ledge right there, the boomerang wasn't oh. hitting. But that bomb fair will do the job right yeah. there. And there that dash grab, maybe a little too committal. Don't get too comfortable with it. Not at all. Oh, God, no reason to spot dodge, man. Dash that. Choosing not to go. I feel like if Toon Link is recovering straight up, you, ha you go and threaten it. You go and threaten. There's no reason to let him just sit there and just recover for freely. Ooh. Turning around up B. This is huge. Yeah, the turnarounds have been so consistent there, and it's so much better. He sets up this perfect position. Caught a uh, T-Sizzle mashing the button over there. Another Thunder, yeah. I mean, he's been getting his damage off of those. Yes, Why not? Has. He says he's not ready for this. I feel like you see Pikachu waiting down there. He wants to... Uh. Oh, love the attempt. He, is, he has his confidence. He is nice with it. Yeah, Tranko, no. not the sweet spot somehow. Sweet at all. But that oh, one will that do time. it. Tranko puts a number on the board. Yes, two downers to take stocks that game. Finally. Hmm. Oh, man, uh, so could this be the reverse 3-0 by Tranko? I don't know. I don't know, man. We, we, we could see it. It's looking like the style is paying off right now. He, he's, was, um, he played so much more solid that game than I've seen him play in the last two. Oh, yeah. The other two games, he was getting ran down. Absolutely. He's, he's making sure he's the one putting the pressure on and the one moving in a lot of these situations that even if he's not getting direct you know, benefits off of this, he's not getting overwhelmed himself. Yes, indeed. All right, there we go. Starting it off, the offense will, be, will continue now. There we go, back there, quick option to two make. Oh, wait, how did the Nair too? you love it? Gets a grab there, small punish. Able to just carry him off to the side, wrong bomb pull. That's something that Tranko is doing too. It's like he's noticing where T-Sills is pulling out a bomb in the worst spot. I know exactly what T-Sills is going for. That would have been huge. Um, see, now right here. Tranko don't need to, Tranko don't need to approach. He's got the lead. Make him, make you frustrate them. Make, make you come to, make him come to him. Oh, guess the tech on that one. Wonderful tech chase with the dash attack. Broken move it is. Well, I don't think dash attack is broken, but it's definitely like, one of the moves you have to watch out for. It's a bread-winning move for Toon Link. Oh, oh, oh did not God. get it. You can drift to ledge. The idea was huge, but that move, not the best at connecting those multi-hits. Not at all. Well, if he held out, he would. if he fully committed to going out, he would have gotten it, oh. and he went that, that way. way. Blessing there. All the pressure. No, that time. And that what? Time, uh, uh, hello? Um, uh, okay. Mr. Quirk from Trenko? Trenko not getting the punish there. Maybe an up smash, I would assume. Yeah, definitely will this up throw do it though? Up throw will yes. do it. That is Pikachu with Rage and Toon Link not being the heaviest heaviest character in this game. Trenko with another lead. Oh, he's definitely he's definitely figuring something out. Oh yeah. And now he can just sit back and let the Teagles do their work. Trenko has no real reason to go in. As I say that, oh, he goes in and dies for it. Very, yes. Knowing that that directional air dodge away. Jesus Christ. As soon as I say, why, why do I speak? Why do I speak? <laughs> this has been like Maddie cursing every Wednesday. Oh my God, the call out. Oh, he's moving now. He is moving and grooving. Let's go, T Sizzle. Like, you see, Tranko wants that lead back, and he's trying to do everything in his power to get it. And T Sizzle is like thriving off of that. Look at that. The lead shattered. Oh, Tranko gets his back here. Another one. 29% off the board. I mean, he's bold off stage. It's been paying off. He hasn't been getting punished when he misses. No, he is not. There's another. Oh, oh no jump here. kind of going into every single option he has. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, and that's another. another. There, Tenko just snatching the lead away from him again. Yeah, I mean, the patience there from Tranko. Really waiting for that air dodge, waiting for him to exhaust his resources. It's and not now just look at that. It's just. Tenko, also the positioning he has for it, too, is just phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Now he's still swinging a lot. Bomb fair, a little too late on the trigger with there. Hold the setup. Yeah, Pikachu, get out of there. And that back up, up, he will not do it just yet. 
Oh. There we go. Just, just waiting him. for it. Yeah. How did he know another peak, another quick attack was coming? I wonder if he was expecting it because Trenko has done a few of those quick attack from one platform to the next. He definitely notices how Trenko's trying to disengage here. The same, uh, the disengages that were working so well for him game three, they're a little bit more telegraphed now. There's a lot of just setup. Oh. There we go. Just there into the up tilt. This is scary. Going super deep. Goes for it again. Trenko being super confident in his recoveries now. Oh, gets around that with the quick attack. Oh, oh caught him swinging. And now he's not letting himself get caught by any of these bombs. Going super deep, but eats a forwarder for his own troubles. Oh, Trinko. Can't escape. The Trinko pressure has here in the, in the corner. down in the corner. Paying rent on this ledge. That bomb's going to explode. Nice tech he knew. Oh, and, and the Trinko bait there. wins again. Wow, I mean, Trinko looking very much more comfortable here. Oh, yeah, man. Doing his... Uh, the classic, I mean, the, the retreating forward air there to bait out a getup attack. What it is, too, is just that he is making t Sistle so scared to recover. Mm, and, like, absolutely. I feel like every time he's off stage, the heart is just racing. It's like, I'm going to get t and I'm going to get Zare. I'm going to get Zare. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. PS2 is not working out. I mean, I feel like these games are close, but maybe th that's just the illusion. That's the illusion. Tranko lo Tranko's loving <laughs> this matchup right it's now. It's true. Tranko, he feels comfortable now. He's like, I can go ham off stage. Uh, Perfect. Hey, now this is a good Nashville. one. I'm actually curious as to what Tranko banned. Because a match of stage in this matchup that I like is um, Town and City. But it also turns into like, it also snowballs based on who gets the first stock. Which is really how a lot of Toon Link matchups go. The matchup where they can zone each other out, it's it's a snowball fight. Tranko banned Battlefield, Small Battlefield, and Smashville. Battlefield, Small Battlefield, Smashville. Thank you, Ryan. You mean Town or Smashville? Yeah, they're on Smash right now. I think it might have been Town. I assume Town, yeah. Yeah. And there we go, it that forwarder. I, I think T-Sizzle... Hollow, Hollow, Hollow Bastion. Hollow Bastion, got it. So, I think T-Sizzle here doesn't seem to be minding the small stages. I mean, mm -mm. he's not disengaging like Trenko is. He's the real... Head now, Jay? Catch you later, bro. Ciao, Jay. Take care. One thing about T Sizzle is that he's like he's very confident in his ability to box and his ability to outplay his opponent and catch them on, on and catch them on their aggression. Oh yeah, he is absolutely scrapping with Toon Link, but the setup game is just as strong. And oh my God, he just knew! He what a just punish! knew! He just knew! And the wait there too, standing with the bomb for a solid second. I mean, just the confidence is still here. Quick combo has him off stage. Mega's gonna need this one. Oh, I need. He knew he needed it. it. Didn't have him far enough off stage. Uh oh. Very. I'm just really loving how he's fun. How he's just like moving around and just oh, applying yeah. his little bits of pressure. No, he's making Toon Link. He's using this ground speed to uh to make it very hard for for Trenko to pin him down when he does choose to approach. Dude, he's not choosing to stay in the area. Oh my God, just barely getting that, but it's see. Oh, punish off of that. Perfect, perfect. Big damage. Oh, hello? I don't think he meant to air dodge there. Head now. Take care, bro. Good night. Stop coffee. He's oh, and almost a full stock lead here. He's still doing great with his if lead. If he takes his first stock, Trenko will need, will need something big. Oh, and he throws oh, his input. I think that was just like, you know, nerves. Fumbling the bag. Yeah, Trenko seems much less confident uh, on all of his inputs, all of his reactions now that he's a stock down. Dude. Oh, he's him right back on stage. Got that him. Got him. We'll cover the, we'll stop the boomerang in play. Yeah, and that's where T Sizzle's counter pick here. I mean, he didn't have much space to land on a stage like Smashville. Not at all. Whoa. Oh, moving around a little bit. Moving and grooving, but now he finds himself off stage. Yeah, right, but yes. that forwarder will do it. Send you straight across stage. Definitely a big play there from Trenko, but a 20%, maybe a little uncalled for. Yeah, definitely that up. Oh, Ant's here with the F-Till. Love to see it. He's just very late on these Dare punishes. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Beautiful spacing on the, on the Nair, too. I just want to point that out. There nice. Man's going to be punishing that. Oh, Trenko wants it. Oh, good on him there. Not air dodging. Holding on to his resource. Has him off stage again. 
Oh, gets these. A little bit of damage. Oh, and, and gets him a charge, too. And now we have a last stock situation. To Tranko's credit, back. he has not been missing those. No, He's pulling man. them at the, at the right time. Casting oh, with the back starts air. it off. Back another again. one. 30% oh, sending him off stage. Oh, this is a good one. This is an exciting set. Oh, he went. He committed super hard for that. Disengage. Get back to neutral. Oh, he's moving around so Jesus well. Why he hasn't put the faint and caught it to jump. This is bad. This is huge. Oh, is he too low? No. Saves him. He saves him. He needed to recover. Caught him jumping from the ledge. Definitely shook after that one. That was kind of the play Franco needed. Oh, knew the air dodge was coming. One off stage again. Man, deep. Oh, oh my no. god. That's how it ends? That's how it ends? Are you for real? No. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking.